I don't know if there's any salad that says summer more than a simple cucumber salad. The flavors of dill and onion join the cucumbers in two different versions. One is a crisp and bright vinaigrette while the other uses sour cream to make a rich and elegant side dish. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about a salad, actually two salads. We're making cucumber summer salads, so let's get started. Our first, I'm gonna make a cucumber salad with vinaigrette. Now this starts with, you guessed it, cucumbers. I have here three large cucumbers. These are the English cucumbers, uh, and I slice them on a mandolin very thinly so I get even slices. Now, first thing is why English cucumbers? I like them better because you don't have to peel them. The skin is nice and thin and the seeds are very small. They're sometimes called seedless uh, and they're easier to digest. They just have a sweeter, nicer flavor. Now I slice these on a mandolin and I'll leave a link in our uh, comment section so you can watch that video on how to safely use a mandolin. It's one of our most popular things. Now, if you don't have a mandolin, you can do this with a knife, but I have one, so I use this. I'm gonna put this in a nice big bowl. Every last little guy in there. Next up is onion. I have a medium red onion. Red onion's a little sweeter than regular, and I slice it as thinly as I could. I'm gonna put this right in. Next is one of my favorite herbs ever, and it's very bountiful this time of year, and that is fresh dill. I have a half a cup, which is weighs out to about 15 grams of chopped fresh dill. Now, if you can't get it, you can use dried and you're gonna to wanna to use about two tablespoons. Right in. Now for the vinaigrette. We're gonna start with some vinegar. I like red wine vinegar for this. I've got two thirds of a cup or 160 mils of red wine vinegar. This is very easy. Pour it right in. Olive oil, my favorite kind, use your favorite kind. Third of a cup or 80 mils. More vinegar than oil, all right in. Now I wanna round out that acid. So I have a healthy, healthy pinch of just white sugar. Sprinkle that in. It's not gonna make it sweet, but it's gonna tone down the vinegar just that little bit that you need. And of course, some salt and pepper. Good pinch. Bring all these flavors together. You've been grinding the pepper. Lovely. Now I just want to mix this. Mix it well. It's very pretty. All these colors, the red onion, the green dill against the white cucumbers. All right. Now then, this is going to go into the fridge. I'm gonna put it, plastic wrap over it, and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for two to four hours. Maybe overnight would be even better. But right now it needs a little rest time in the fridge. So off to the fridge. While our salad with vinaigrette is chilling, let's make another version of my cucumber salad. This time we're gonna make it with sour cream. And it's richer, creamier, but it has all the same flavors. Now we're gonna start with the same way. I've got three English cucumbers and I just slice them thin on my mandolin. We're gonna put these aside for a moment because we wanna build the dressing for it first. First, we're gonna start with the dill, my favorite. Here we are, it's the same amount, half a cup or about 15 grams of chopped fresh dill. In this case, if you were using dried, you'd wanna use about two tablespoons. To that, we're gonna add 
sour cream. This is eight ounces, 250 grams of sour cream, right in. And we're building this first because we want all these flavors to come together before we add our vegetables to it. Next up is milk, plain old milk. I have just one ounce or 30 mils of milk. Now that's going to loosen up that sour cream. It's gonna make it easier to mix and it's just gonna help pull it all together. Next, a little surprise for you, the juice of half a lemon. Always use fresh lemon. And I'm using lemon because it's gonna add a little more acid, a little tang, and again, the liquid from the juice will help keep this nice and loose and help it tenderize and marinate into the cucumbers and onions. So right in. And of course, some salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Maybe a little more. All right, we're gonna whisk this to combine. Just takes a moment. Mmm, that dill, I can smell it. Now you can see this has gotten a lot looser, so that will help it mix in the cukes a lot better. All right, now, here it's time for the cucumbers. We're gonna pour these right in. And of course, one medium red onion sliced nice and thin. Okay. And we're gonna mix this all up. This may take a little more mixing than the other one did. Have a little patience. All right, we're nice and mixed up now. Just like before, I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on this. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for about two to four hours. Now, while these are chilling, I'm gonna go have a little glass of wine and relax. So I'll see you, and then we'll do the tasting. Here we are. We are out of the fridge. It's been about three hours, so I brought them out, look how glorious they are. Our first one is with our easy vinaigrette and look at it, it's glistening. They're starting to soak up all of that wonderful flavor from the vinegar and the oil. The onions are nice and soft, beautiful. Then we have with the sour cream, all the same flavors, but creamy, rich, Kind of elegant, I think. And again, it's been just soaking up all those flavors. So let's give a little taste. I'm gonna put some on here. Maybe a little more. This one is really my favorite. Let's get some of that onion in there too. I really. Who wouldn't want to eat that? So here we go. Start with my favorite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's some good stuff. Now I should tell you, when I brought them out of the fridge, I tasted them for seasoning. I adjusted. This one needed a little more salt and pepper, so I added it. The other one was fine as is. So taste your food. Now let's try this one. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. This is exactly what I thought it would be. It's bright and tangy and it wakes up your palate. This one, creamy, rich, but you still have the crunch and the little tang from the onions, mmm, delicious. And of course, with both of them, the dill is the superstar, brings it all together and adds an extra layer of flavor and freshness. And we need a little wine. 
Mm. That's good stuff, too. All righty. We will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for Cocktail Friday or Basic Skills, and every other Sunday for our live streams. Now, while I go have a little private moment with my salads, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, cheers. <laughs>